Good morning. How is everyone this morning? You know, it's a beautiful morning. I look out my window. I see the sun out there. It's going to be a gorgeous day. It's going to be warm. It's not going to be really hot. So it's going to be a real comfortable day. And I think it's really a great time to give the Sunday morning message. My name is Reverend Ron Card, and I'm just kind of sitting here in my dining room in Oceanside, California. And to be honest with you, I can't think there of a better place to be than right here, right now. You know, this morning, I want to go ahead and continue talking about our monthly theme, which was open to possibilities. And it's something we have been talking about over the last couple of weeks. And as we talk about open to possibilities this morning, what I want to do is I want to talk, I want to kind of look at it maybe at a little bit different angle. I want to talk about here and now. I want to talk about being in the present, being in the now. Because when I talk about that, I really feel it is the key to possibilities in our lives. You know, take a look at how our lives are now. You know, many of us, many of us live our life so very hectically, you know, so very fast paced. You know, it seems as though anxiety and stress and unhappiness have really become a new norm for us, especially over the last year with the COVID-19 and the restrictions and all the things that have gone on, the election and, you know, there's just been a lot of things that have gone on. But, you know, many of us spend so much time examining ourselves. You know, we're constantly, we have our head, we're constantly in our past, you know, looking for ways to change things, to change maybe the way we did something or what we said. You know, I'm sure we've all done things that we wish that we could either take back or maybe even do a little differently. But instead of learning from it and moving on, what we do is we stay stuck, you know, trying to change something that we can't because it has already happened. The energy for that has already been dispersed. You know, it is, it is like we live life on automatic pilot or unconsciously when we do think about the past and, you know, what's going on. And we wonder why possibilities evade us. It is like we lose our power, like you know, we feel powerless. You know, how can you open yourself to possibilities when you feel like this way, when you feel this way? You know, the way to turn this around is to begin to live your life in the here and now, to live it consciously to live it in the now. You know, I believe that each one of us has a power greater than we can even imagine. We, we talk about this all the time. It knows all, it can do all, and it is at the very center of our being. In the Science of Mind textbook on chapter three, what it does on page 40, it's the very first paragraph. And this is what Dr. Holmes says, that the divine mind is infinite. It contains all knowledge and wisdom. But before it can reveal itself, before it can reveal its secrets, it must have an outlet. This, this is the power that I'm talking about. A power that is within each one of us. It's within me, and it's also within you. You know, we must be open to the possibilities, and we are the outlets through which the possibilities come. We are that outlet that it talks about. You know, the only way 
that we can do this is by living life in the present, by living life in the here and now, right now. You know, all the wisdom of the world is within each one of us. It's within each one of us as us. You know, we, we look around in present time and many of us can see that we really haven't been very good caretakers of this amazing thing that we call life. What, we, what I have come to realize is that the power is in the now, right here and right now. And what I have to remember is that principle is not bound by perceiving. So what does that mean? It means that regardless of what has been in our personal lives, it cannot prevent us from moving forward unless we let it. What has happened before, what we've said before, what we've done before, it can't stop us unless we let it. We are the ones that hold ourselves back. No one else, no situation. It's us. You know, Dr. Holmes tells us that spirit can only give us what we can take. So my question is, how big is your consciousness? How much are you willing to take or willing to have? You know, trained thought is so much more powerful than untrained thought. Trained thought, it moves you towards the possibilities. It supports the possibilities that come up in your life. What I have come to realize is through this teaching of science of mind is how powerful trained thought is. You know, on the other hand, untrained thought, it moves you from the possibilities that life gives you. It keeps you stuck. The thing we have to remember, our thoughts are things. So when we're dwelling in the past, when we're running things over in our minds, when we're thinking about other people, like, I can't believe she dressed that way, or I can't believe, you know, when you start saying negative things, those are things that pop up in your life, not their life. That's why we need to move from that. We need to move into the now. You know, the untrained mind is like a flywheel. It's spinning out thoughts all the time, emotions, images, stories, likes, dislikes to our lives. And we pay attention to that. And silently, we move from conscious thinking to unconscious thinking. And many times we, not, we are not even aware of that. That we you know, are in this unconscious state. You know, how many of you have ever, maybe you were driving a car and, you know, and it's been a long drive and you're driving down and all of a sudden you realize, boy, you're farther than you thought you were. And you kind of wondered, how, how did I steer the car? You know, how, you know, what have I been asleep? And this is, this is what we do. We, we, we go into that unconscious state. You know, the power that we search for is already within us. It's within each one of us. And we must acknowledge it. And we must be confident in using it. And the only time that we can use it is in the now. We must remember that the power for the past has already been used. And the power for the future is waiting for us when we get there. That's why it's so, so important to be in the now. You know, one of the other things that I feel that really holds us back also is our busyness in life. You know, most of the time we are so busy that we multi multitask our lives. You know, our work, our children, 
the house, maybe repairs, car repairs, doctor visits. We have so much going on that we're preoccupied. You know, allowing ourselves just to, an opportunity just to step back and slow down, kind of smell the roses, allowing yourself moments of awareness is an important part of spiritual practices. Our spiritual practices are like meditation. In meditation, what do you do? You just close your eyes and you just concentrate on your breath. You slow down. You slow those thoughts down. You try to capture in between those thoughts, those spaces. When you do prayer, what are you doing? You're slowing your thought process down. You're slowing. You're just breathing. You're being in the moment. When you vision, you're doing the same thing. So a key to being in the now is to slow down, is to smell the flowers. You know, have you ever just stopped what you were doing and watched maybe a butterfly cross your path? Or maybe you see something else and you just kind of observe it. You know, to allow yourself to really experience it and its beauty. There is so much that we missed until we slow down into the now. You know, when I drive my car, a lot of times I'll see something and it's been there. It's been there every time I've gone that way and I'm just realizing it now. There's so much that we miss by living life unconsciously, by taking things for granted. How wonderful it is to know that we have a power within us that already is able and willing to do the work. That power that I'm talking about is spirit. It's God. It's right here. It's right with each one of us. We don't have to look out there for God or out there for, you know, for spirit. It's right with us. We were born in the image and in the likeness. You know, Dr. Holmes tells us that the laws of the universe are to be trusted. What are those laws I'm talking about? The laws of, of cause and effect. The laws of attraction. There are many laws. The laws of the universe work for us, through us, according to our predominant beliefs. You know, these laws, they contain all the knowledge. And we don't have to create the power. We just have to acknowledge it. And we just have to use it. You know, we don't create it. No one created the law of cause and effect or the law of attraction. We discovered it. And when we did, we began to use it and found that it does work. You know, one of the many ways or one, one way that I acknowledge um, laws is to be grateful. You know, I am so grateful for the principles and the tools of this teaching of science of mind. There are so many things, love and gratitude and being in harmony. You know, these are all things that, you know, really bring you back into the now. You know, grateful for the life that I am living and the life that, you know, that we all are living. You know, Dr. Holmes wrote this. A new light is coming into the world and we are on a borderland of a new experience. The veil between spirit and matter is very thin. You know, I, I totally agree with this. We no longer have a normal especially after this year. I mean, all the things that have happened. You know, I feel this year we will be creating a new normal. We may not have any idea what this looks like, but I do know that there is going to be a new normal. The new light is our willingness to expand our consciousness, to realize that we are creators of our reality. We have to begin to realize that and know that, that we create what comes to us, what unfolds in our lives. 
you know, the new light of our willingness to expand our consciousness, to realize that we are creators of our reality, that we are creating something magnificent that benefits all, that benefits everyone. Remember, stay in the now, stay in the here and now. Be open for those possibilities. You know, those possibilities that come into your life. I want to thank you for spending this time with me this morning. And please enjoy the rest of your day. It's beautiful out there. It's great. I can't wait to get out there. But remember, take time. Smell the flowers. And please join me Wednesday at 7 p.m. for Wednesday Wisdom. You know, this week I'm going to be talking about commit to transformation. This is really going to be a good talk. So I hope to see you Wednesday. I want to thank you and have a good rest of your day.